Hey guys, it's Jarrett. So I'm coming today to show you Pretty Prompt. Um, I'm not the only one that's done this. Um, I would actually recommend going and looking at Scott Hanselman's video on this. Um, he also has a blog post. I just wanted to show you guys how I'm applying it to my machine. It's it's a very it's like a step by step process. Same, pretty very similar to Scott Hanselman's. Um, and I'll have his link in the bio and his uh, his page uh, for you to look at. Um, just because it's really nice to use with Git, it's it, it it watches your changes. So let's just go ahead and get started um, on making it look what's like on the screen. Uh, it's just a very pretty prompt PowerShell um, view to make it a little more user friendly. So okay, so first we're going to make sure you have. Windows PowerShell. So I use I'm using Windows Terminal, which allows me to open up multiple tabs. Yeah. So if we were to open Microsoft Store, let's do Windows Terminal app. You'll want that. So you'll install this and get all fancy. So Next part, um, to kind of get this, we're gonna need to download Cascadia code. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the Cascadia code. We are going to just go ahead and open it. I think it's actually, mm, ch -ch 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 -ch. Cascadio. We're gonna do all the PLs, so like the PLs here and the PLs down here. Um, and you're gonna need to go into your fonts. So Windows, C Windows fonts. Um, and then... I am extracting the files to move them over into the fonts, otherwise it won't allow you. Copy those over, and then we'll also copy over these. Okay, so now that we have that done, we'll go back to terminal. Um, and our next thing is to change within the settings. So if we go in here and go to settings, do, 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 do. We're going to have to add a new line within the profiles, I believe. So under defaults here, we are going to do font face. We're going to do, um, we're going to do Cascadia code PL and we're gonna do whoops I guess it did not like me going hammer on my keyboard font size we're gonna do 16 okay Ooh, here so you can see now it's changed right and I'm also just doing the scroll wheel. So control, hold down control and scroll and it zoom you in and out. Um, so after we've added the Cascadia, now we need to run some modules. So on here, we're gonna run first this module. And I'm gonna have all this stuff down in the description. Uh, yes. free to use. Um, and you can also get all this stuff also from Scott Hanselman.
you probably don't you probably won't have this in your documents so within your user documents see you'll need to create a fold call a folder called Windows PowerShell and inside here we'll need to create a folder called Microsoft PowerShell underscore profile dot ps1 so I'm just gonna do new text and I need to look at the file extensions and place that yes and then finally we are going to add inside this we're going to edit this we're going to insert this we are going to we are going to run PowerShell as an administrator. We're gonna set our execution quality unrestricted, which just allows us to run the run those. What? Maybe I can't spell. That might be my problem. Still can't spell. Holy cow. I'm sorry, guys. There we are. So I'll have that in the Windows prompt. We will have this beautiful screen. So currently, we can't tell that I am um, in a Git. So let's just do directory. We're just going to do cdf. cdf. Directory, cd git, cd website, and now, now we can see that within my git repository here, we have, looks like we've added a file and removed a file, hmm, um, and there's no changes. So that's kind of how it's done. Um, sorry, this is a very rough video on my end. I'm, I'm sorry about that, guys, but uh, let me know if you have any questions um, about this. Um, like I said, I will post the kind of the step-by-step -step process um, to get to this point for your Git. And you just have to have a repository to actually be able to see these master changes uh, within, the, within your Git repository. Um, so thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments if uh, for some recommendations. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.